In this video, we will see a problem on superposition theorem. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, if you want to buy my notes, then check the link in the comment section and install the app now. Question. Determine IAB by applying superposition theorem. Now here in this circuit, we have to find the value of IAB by using superposition theorem. Solution. First of all, we will consider current due to this 20 ampere current source. So step number one is to consider 20 ampere current source. And now when we consider 20 ampere current source and turn off all other sources. So we have to turn off all other independent sources. Now here we can see when we turn off this voltage source that time it will be replaced by a short circuit. And now this current will be IAB prime because this current is different. It is the current due to this 20 ampere current source. Now here we can see this 6 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series. So again let's copy this circuit. Now we can replace these two resistors by a single resistance of 10 ohm because 6 plus 4 is 10. So this will be of 10 ohm. So let's make a resistor here of 10 ohm. 10 ohm. Now we have to find this IAB prime. We can find this by using current division rule. So by using current division rule IAB prime is equal to this current which is 20 multiplied with parallel branch resistance. Now parallel branch to this is 10 ohm. So 10 divided by 10 plus this resistance which is 8. So if we solve this we get IAB prime is equal to let's solve this in calculator. So 20 multiplied with 10 divided by 10 plus 8. It is equal to 11.1 ampere. And also we have to take its direction. Now here we can see its direction is upward. Like this. Now next we will find the current due to 50 volt voltage source. So consider 50 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources. Now here, this time we will consider, first we will take this circuit from here. Let's copy this circuit from here. And now we have to consider this 50 volt and we have to turn off this current source. Now when we turn off a current source, that time it will be replaced by open circuit. And now this current will be IAB double prime. Now again, let's copy this circuit again. Here we can see this 6 ohm and this 4 ohm are open circuited now. So we can ignore them. So let's remove this from here.
Now we can easily find the value of IAB double prime. According to Ohm's law, IAB double prime is equal to V upon R. The value of voltage is 50 divided by, here we can see the positive terminal is on this side, so current will flow in this direction, which is the correct direction. So voltage value divided by resistance value, resistance value is 4, then plus 8, then plus 6. Now if we solve this, we get the value of IAB double prime. It is equal to 50 divided by 4 plus 8 plus 6. So it is 2.7, 2.7 ampere, and the direction is upward. Now here we can see for IAB prime and IAB prime, double prime, the direction is upward. So therefore the resultant IAB will be the addition of IAB prime and IAB double prime because the direction is same. So we have to add them. So IAB prime value is 11.1. 11.1 plus IAB double prime is 2.7. Now if we add them, then we get the value of IAB, which is 11.1 plus 2.7. It is equal to 13.8. 13.8 ampere. Now what we have to find in this problem? We have to find IAB by superposition theorem. So here this is the value of IAB. Don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching.